Hey friend, has the pandemic caused your anxiety, panic, stress, and overwhelm to kick into high gear? I get it. And in fact, you're not alone. So stay tuned and I'm going to share with you three powerful ways that you can calm your nervous system even during a pandemic. Before we dive in, let me ask, are you somebody who is committed to doing the inner work to live your most joyous life? If you know what it means to live a life by design, then I invite you to join your Rebel community right here on YouTube. Click the subscribe button and join other like-minded people like you who are committed to doing the inner work and consciously create a life by design. Make sure to hit the subscribe button along with the bell so you're notified each and every week when a new video drops. If your nervous system is on overdrive right now, you're not alone. This pandemic has caused all of us to be on constant edge, to be afraid of our neighbors, to feel anxious about tomorrow, to worry about every aspect to, and every person being a threat and the inability to travel and live life normally, not to mention the financial burdens and the school burdens and all the other things that come with this. Now, not that you needed another reminder, but this is so important to recognize that a reason why you're feeling so on edge isn't really your fault. In fact, I was talking to one of my clients the other day and she was feeling the exact same way. And when I incorporated these three tools in her life, she was not only able to calm that nervous system, but find joy right here, right now in the pandemic. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Bonnie Kelly. I specialize in ending the cycle of self-sabotage. Basically, I help you get out of your way so you can live your best, most freeing, and truest life imaginable. So with that being said, if we haven't met, I'm glad that you're here. Thank you so much for being a part of this community of like-minded people willing to do the inner work. And let's dive into my very first tip. All right, let's kick this off with tip number one, which is actually the biggest, if not best, tool for helping you calm your nervous system and is as simple as breathing. Now, I'm not talking about the regular breath that you're taking right now just to have oxygen in your body so you stay alive and it's on automatic. I'm talking about consciously, intentionally, slowly, purposefully breathing. The breath is what sends a signal to the brain to let your mind know on how to respond. Think about it. Last time you were afraid or uh, panicked, how was your breath? It's short, shallow, it's fast. Because your brain is telling these signals that it's like there's a threat here. We must be prepared to run, to fight, to hide, to protect ourselves. So the breath becomes very chaotic. And if you are tuning in right now to where your breath is, I bet it is pretty shallow. I bet that you're not filling your full belly, that you're breathing from your chest and not from your gut. And if we want to reset that nervous system, we absolutely need to take time out of every day, multiple times a day, just to breathe. So if this is new for you, I want you to set a reminder in your phone. And even if it's not new, set a reminder in your phone to breathe. And it isn't doesn't have to be anything massive or intrusive. You can do it as simply as taking 10 slow, controlled breaths. And when we can begin to breathe, and I'm talking breathe, what we're doing is we're indicating to the mind that there's space that it's safe, that you're in control. And when your mind has those signals, it's much easier to be able to navigate the thoughts, to navigate the fear, to navigate the feelings so that you can reclaim your joy. So the first one is more of a reminder because I know you know this, but it's so important for you to begin to take that time to breathe especially in a season where every news channel, every conversation, every interaction is focused on lack and pain and pandemic and struggle. So I really do want you to pause and breathe. So this leads me to my second tip, which is to check your future pacing at the door so that you can be more present right now. Let me explain what this means. When we have a lot of anxiety, 
when we have a lot of overwhelm and fear, we're usually future pacing. We're thinking about tomorrow. We're thinking about what, what's happening later tonight and what's going to happen in six years from now. What's going to happen from 10 years from now? How is the impact of this going to have on my child who's not able to socialize? How is this going to affect my financials and my retirement and all of these other things? Whoo! It's very easy, uh, overwhelming season, and we're in one. Whether we want to participate in it or not, it is happening globally, is that it's very easy for us to get trapped in the future of what if. And the what ifs usually are accompanied by our fear and our fear of failing, our fear of being homeless, our fear of losing, a fear of lack, a fear of uh, doomsday. And when our thoughts are predominantly there, when our emotions are um, predominantly there, it is very easy for us to uh, get super overwhelmed and anxious. So what we want to do is we want to be more present right here, right now. And it can be as simply as intentionally focus your your attention on being uh, present petting your dog, on having a tea party with your daughter on going for a mindful walk. You can uh, do it by meditation. There's so many ways that you can become present. I mean, one of my favorite is like having a cup of coffee first thing in the morning, sitting out on the back porch and just watching the birds and allowing myself to be present in that seat, watching that bird fly and do its thing and, you know, wondering where's that bird going? Like, what is that bird up to? I mean, where, where, where do they go all day? Like, what's their deal? I mean, ridiculous thoughts, but I'm in the present. I'm enjoying this bird and I'm not thinking about all of the things I need to do and all the stress that I have um, and all of the troubles that I'm facing. And I can be present when I take my dog for a walk and I put my phone down and I'm not listening to anything except for nature. I'm not listening to anything except for the noises of my surroundings. And what I'm doing there is I'm calming my nervous system. I'm allowing myself to be present so that I can feel. Now, what do you do? What is something that you do on a regular to help yourself be present and to challenge your future pacing. Please put it in the comment below. I love hearing from all of you and your ideas and not to mention your community is inspired by your ideas as well. So be sure to share with your rebel community right now something that you do that allows you to be present and in the moment. Okay, friends, so this leads me to my third and final tip to help calm your nervous system so you can reclaim joy, which is to stop multitasking. Now, this one goes hand in hand with some of the other ones, but it's so important for you to be present now. And when we're multitasking is that we find ourselves getting split attention on so many different avenues, which a fractured uh, attention is also a fractured mind. We wanna slow down during this season. And I know for some of you, you're like, oh, my life is too slow already, and that's why I have all of these thoughts and I have all of this anxiety. Go check out my videos on fear. Go check out my videos on anxiety. Go check out my videos on the thought tornado of destruction. I've got a lot of other tools to help you with just that. However, I want you to focus on one thing at a time during this season. I want you to still be productive. I still want you to feel like you're making movement in your life because that is important too. But I want you to do it very methodically, very intentionally, very purposefully. So... Get out a piece of paper, write down everything that you need to do, then prioritize it. So rewrite it in a priority and start on the just the top one. And just think of nothing else except for that task until it's done. And then once it's done, you feel the gratification of checking it off and move on to the next one. If you uh, work from home or you work by yourself, this is a really, really good way to not only stay on target, but to allow you to achieve really good things because greatness is achieved not in huge leaps and bounds, but it's through the micro actions that we take, the little steps that we take consistently that allow us to have success. Okay, so these are my three tips to help you begin to calm that nervous system. Remember to breathe. It is the most powerful, powerful thing that you can do to help you reset and reclaim your joy. All right, friend, now that you know my three powerful tips to calming your nervous system, I've got one more thing for you. Another way that you can begin to feel joy right now is through music. But a lot of the music that's out there is promoting kind of a lifestyle or methodology that probably isn't in alignment with your core values. 
It's fun to listen to, but it doesn't promote self-worth and self-esteem and self-confidence. Well, that's about to change. So I hired a professional rapper to create positive, self-affirming hip-hops. Yeah, that's a mouthful. But it's just positive raps that are going to help shift your mood. These are things you can share with your children, and it can begin to build your worth and confidence, your uh, self-esteem, your uh, feeling authentic and gratitude and all of these amazing things. And it's yours for free. You can get the whole album by clicking the link below. So check it out on our rebelsforjoy.com website slash hip hop. And also don't forget, If you're ready to join our community and continue this conversation beyond YouTube, then go check out our Rebels for Joy Facebook group. I'll look forward to seeing you there. Did you enjoy this video? I thought so. Make sure to check out all the other videos that we have here on the channel just for you. This is your personal development home to get out of your way. And remember to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a video. We drop one each and every week just for you. And I look forward to seeing you in the next. Enjoy.